one of the biggest reason 6 million MSME business owners are using Google Form is data validation. In Google Form, you can set the rules so that person who is filling the form does not make any mistake so that you can minimize the mistakes in data entry and you get clean qualified data on which you can automate your processes and you can create reports as well. So let's learn in this quick lesson on how to add data validation, form validation in your Google Forms. Let's check out this amazing lesson. So you see here, we have a sample form here. Okay, a brand new, absolutely new form. And that's where we are trying to add few functions. So a few questions, for example, I start with name, then I go for email address. Okay. Now, for example, when you add questions, you want to have few questions to be mandatory. How do you make sure that a person cannot submit the form without fulfilling that those questions? So for example, if I'm at this place, I can make it required. If I switch it on, it means person will have to fill it. And if I just take a preview, you see, it has this red icon, right? But this is simple, you know it already. But what if you want to create review rules for email address as well? What you want is that a person must fill the email address and must fill the correct email address. They should not skip the at the rate uh, within the email because a lot of times what people do is they will write the email and they will put blank in between of at the rate or they will make any other mistakes as well. So here in Google form, when I go for email address, I click on this icon, these three dots, which you see here. Okay. When I click on this, it shows me this option called response validation. So when I open it, it gives me all these amazing options of adding the validation in Google form. For example, uh, it has got number, it has got text, it has got length. I go for text here. And in text, it has got multiple options, including contains, does not contain, email and URL. So if I go for email, so it will take the validation that the email should be entered. And here I can write, please enter the correct email address. Now you do not want to stop customer to fulfill to fill their red if email or outlook email right but you just want that the emails should be filled up in the correct manner so what do i mean by this and so this is what i'm trying to say here for example if i write name here and if i just try to write email like this just like this okay and i try to submit it will not take submit because it says that please enter the correct email address so if i just kind of write at the rate and then make a space in between Again, it will not let me complete it until unless it has got this at the rate and it has got a dot after that, it will not fill this. But here you cannot control whether it is Outlook, whether it is Gmail, whether it is Rediff, because that's what you want, right? You want your customers not to be restricted for Google. Your customer can fill the form even if they have uh, filled their email address on the Google form. Not only the Gmail, if they have their professional email address on Outlook or other emails as well, right? So through this validation, what you make sure is that person is filling the correct email format, right? Now let's talk about next one. Contact number. Now here, a lot of times we get confused on, you know, we cable, we want to enter the 10 digit contact number. Here I'm talking about students of India, okay? So firstly, for all the people who are like seeing this video from all over the world, what you could do is you could go for response validation and then you can go for simply number. That's it. And here in the description, you can write that please enter correct contact number. Do not use any text okay so it will make sure that it does not take it but what if if i talk about especially for indian users what if we just want a 10 digit contact number a 10 digit mobile number how does it happen so here if i go to number here it has an option of between so in between here i can go for maybe if we talk think about 
mobile number starting from six, like six, nine something, right? So we can go for six. And I'll go for 10 digits here. So four, five, right? And after that here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So all nines, 10 digits, okay? And here I can write, please enter 10 digits. Contact number. Okay. So if I switch it on, here you'll see this description coming up. This is how it works. Right here, I don't know. Here, okay. So here we could add this on description as well. So now if I watch it, you'll see it says please correct the enter the correct email address and please enter correct contact number. But in contact number, I do not want, I just want a 10 digit. So I'll replace it with this. If I refresh it. So please enter a 10 digit contact number that's coming up here. So if I just fill the name again, here I fill the email address and here if I go for, it will not let me do it because it knows that it is not a 10 digit number, right? And even if I go for this, it is 10 digit, but it is not starting from six, right? So if I just go for one here, that's where we are assuming that mobile number can start from one as well. Okay. So it goes from one zero zero up to 10 digits up to nine, 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 10 digits. So anywhere in between, uh, the contact number should be, and it should be of 10 digits. So that's how you add the validation here for your contact number, right? Are you enjoying this opening mind? So uh, please choose the products. If I add here some products, okay, A, then I go for B, C, D, okay. I add all. Now here you see, if I go for response validation, it is a checkbox question and it has an option of select at least. So here I can go for select at least one or select at least two. And here you can write as well, select at least two products. So if I just make it open, I'll see all this sorted. This is also, I'll make it six, although we have changed the validation from one. So even it will take the five, uh, the contact number starting from number five as well. And here, if I go for this, it says select at least two products, right? So here, for example, if the criteria that, okay, you have given a few options to clients and you want them to choose uh, more than one option, then you can go for this as well. But if I go for multiple choice, like where you can just choose only one option, that's where it has not given any option or so ever for uh, form validation. Because here in multiple choice, a person can choose only one option. So Google did not find any uh, for that. Then if I go for drop down, drop down, let's see. So here again, we do not have any validation, but for checkbox, we have the response validation here. Right now, let's see what all other question for other question. We have the validation. If I talk about file upload, let's see if we have, no, we do not have file for file upload as well. If we talk about linear scale, now we do not have any validation for linear scale as well. Right? So all these things are available here. That's where, for example, if you talk about multiple choice grade, uh, that's where we could have an option of let me do one response per column. This is one of the validation. It has the limit to one response per column. Okay. So per column, only one response will be taken, but this is not the validation that I'm talking about here. So this validation is available for text. It is available for email. It is available for numbers and it is available for checkboxes as well. If I talk about text, what do I mean by text? For example, I'm taking your text and in text, I want to go for response validation. And that's where I've got number, text, length, and regular expression. So for example, I do not want anybody to fill up number in name. 